Hi Q Corner, I'm Chris Adamo from Balloons Online in Sydney, Australia. Today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to support a three foot balloon from a knot lamp. Now it's pretty simple but there's a couple of little things I want to show you on the process there. Um, we're finding an issue where of course helium is becoming more scarce and certain venues are no longer accepting helium. So I've used this method a few times to create a really sleek, neat, elegant and cost effective way of supporting three foot balloons. So let's begin. We have our knot lamp, right, ready to go. We're gonna use all parts of this, including the cup, and the cup is what's gonna be supporting that three foot balloon. So, let's open her up. Now we have developed methods where this is the cup, but it seems a little bulky, not as neat. So keep that in the back burner for next time. Got our base, our poles, and the top. So, in this case, I'm just going to connect three poles. So we can determine the height that we want. Three seems to work well for me, plus the top at the end there. Generally speaking, with a three foot balloon, you don't want it too, too high, so it gets a little bit lost, a little bit too distant, uh, or too low. I quite like to define that um, the average person in the room wants to be looking up at the piece. So a three foot balloon, I typically set about 2.2, 2.4 meters tall. All right, so now for the top. So we're gonna get uh, some scissors or pliers and cut the power cord really close to the end there. We can get rid of these clips. And now we're gonna unscrew the actual housing for the light bulb, okay? So now I'll just show you there's like a flange of sorts that unscrews here. Okay, so that comes off. And the next part we're gonna try and unscrew is actually underneath here. So it's inside, and I'll show you how we do that. I actually end up clamping the unit, so I've got two hands, hold up. So here we have our bench vise. This holds it in there. And see, I'm just actually unscrewing the entire uh, metal flange. And there's a little clear plastic, like a thread, like a nut inside there. There we go. So we've taken that part off. I'll show you again. So that's the clear plastic nut inside. And so you could, just to show you, take it all off. All right, so that's all our pieces. I'll put that back on though. Screw it back in. So the, the clear plastic piece is actually just to support the metal nut that's in there. All right, so we're nice and tight again. Screw that in. All right, so that's our base ready to go for our three foot. So in this case, it's gonna sit just like that. Now the way of connecting it in there, I struggle with it for a little bit because we don't have much room to pull the compression of the three foot balloon in. Furthermore, I don't want to ruin the neatness of how clean this, this one line is with the cup just protruding beyond. Um, so I don't want to have 
you know, the red part of the neck coming through. I don't want to have too much tight in here, um, but I also want to be quick, fast, and easy. So the method I worked out was we're going to drill a hole just around here, and we're going to tie a bit of black rope to the balloon, pull that through, and then wrap it around here as tight as we can. So uh, with our drill, um, now the, the hole size is important as well. There's a little grommet here, right? That's where the wire came out of. I want to use that grommet in my hole. So I'm going to cut a hole that's the same size as this one. The reason why I want to use that grommet is that, is that when the rope comes through, I don't want it to be touching the, the sharp uh, metal skin of this flange. So it just comes off with some pliers. All right. And I just get a drill bit that's the same diameter as that hole. And I'm going to drill my hole about there. It's easy to work on the bench. Now when drilling, don't apply too much force. Just let the blade softly just make its cuts. All right. Now for our little flange here, we can push that back in. Doesn't look super neat, but it's, it's better than just an exposed piece of metal tin. Okay, <clears throat> so that's all you need to do for the base. Pretty simple. Now for our balloon, I've got some um, black VB cord here. So it's two mil Venetian blind cord. I'm gonna cut a section. Look, anything that's um, uh, not too thin, that's a little soft and won't stretch. That's the important part, it can't stretch. Anything like that would do. Black is very important because it matches the black of the knot lamp. So we're gonna tie underneath the knot between the balloon itself and the thickness of the knot that we've tied. The reason being, we don't want it to stretch. We don't, if we tie it anywhere around the leftover of the neck, it's gonna stretch a little bit. And when we compress that in the cup of the knot lamp, it won't be able to uh, expand as much with compression. So I'm gonna wrap it around the knot here twice underneath the thickness of the knot and that twice just holds it in a little more for me. Tie that off. Couple of knots. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread it through the hole that we've drilled of the knot lamp. And pull that all the way through. All right, so my excess, I'm gonna just tuck into the cup, or you could cut it. Now the important part here, it's all about compression. It's all about that little bit of length, pulling it as tight as I can. So I'm just gonna pull that with my hands, wrap it around twice. And as I come around for the first wrap, I'm gonna tuck it up underneath this little bit here, right? There's a little, little window that I can tuck that rope up under. It's a bit hard when it's threaded a little bit. All right, got it. Okay, so I've come under. So remember I, I was going clockwise and now I'm gonna go anti-clockwise this way. Okay, just once, come back, tuck it under again. Okay, and now pull it back the other way. So it's actually just clicked that little um, plastic uh, grommet off because of that extra compression, which is good, but I'll just push it back in. Come back around. So it's that little motion of going this way, then this way, that's actually given me that little bit of extra compression that's tied this balloon in as tight as we want it. So I'm going to just tie that knot. Go 
couple of times. All right, and we get our scissors. And just trim the excess. So we're finished. So it's a very lovely, clean, neat, cost-effective way of supporting a single balloon, in this case a three-foot balloon, from the cup of the um, IKEA knot lamp. Quite sturdy as well, and the great thing is it's going to keep bouncing back into that support of the cup. Um, we've done this a lot with printing on the top. You can space them around. They're okay even for outdoor environments like with, with not too much wind. The worst case it's going to do is just blow this around. You could put some extra weight down on the base, perhaps. Um, but indoors, it's perfect. And especially when we're in environments now where helium is questionable, um, it's a great option. You can come back, pick all these up, um, take the cups off the top, and now you've got your original knot lamps. They're reusable. And reusability is a huge um, benefit these days with the environmental issues that we have to bear in our industry. So I, I really hope you've gained something out of this. And thank you so much, Q Corner, for having me. You guys do a wonderful job. Keep up the great work.